In this video, I'm going to show you how to get some amazing features of Git within NeoVim using just two plugins. Seriously, check this out. In my Git configuration now, I can see these beautiful lines on the left hand side of my line numbers showing the changes between Git and my local copy of this file using just a couple of colors that give me a good indication of what's different between my local copy of this file and Git. I can also toggle line blaming so that when I hover over a line, it'll show me the latest change, who changed it and on what date. I can also preview hunks in line inside of Vim and I can git blame my files so I can see who changed things most recently. Wow, this developer is terrible. These are exciting and powerful features that you can use with git within NeoVim using just these two plugins. I'm going to show you what they are and how to install them. Let's get into it. Recently, we released a whole entire course on NeoVim configuration called NeoVim for Noobs and everyone else really. And so far that feedback has been amazing, but over and over again, I saw people asking questions about the same thing missing in our config. We were missing Git integration. Now in our last video, I went over lazy Git, which personally I think is a game changer for using Git. Really, it's amazing. But we're still missing some really big pieces of functionality within NeoVim for Git. So in this video, I wanna go over two plugins that I think bring all of the functionality you would need for Git in NeoVim. Those two plugins are Git Signs and Fugitive. So let's go over Git Signs first. The main reason I love using Git Signs is basically for the lines that it gives you to the left of your line numbers. You can see them in a couple places throughout the documentation, but there's also some interesting things. You can preview hunks in line and you can also hunk things in line, which is kind of interesting. And you can also toggle line blame, which feels very VS Code-y. So we'll get into that in this video. I'll show you in a little bit how to do it. But to start, let's install it. So we want to copy the short URL for Git, go to our configuration, and let's make a new file in our plugins directory called Git Signs. Dot Lua. We want to return a Lua table that contains the short URL for the Git repo URL. And then we want to set up our configuration. And the config is a function. And all it does is we require Git signs and call setup. And that's all we need. So let's quit NeoVim, reopen it. And there you go. Git signs is now installed. So now let's see if Git Signs is even working. I'm sure it is. And there you go. Look, now we can see we have a line right here in our configuration. This line is yellow. That means that there was a change. So now if we want to see what this change is, we can call Git Signs preview hunk in line. And that'll, that'll show us the change in line. Now, if we say Git Signs preview hunk, that'll open it in a little extra window there. I like that a little bit better. So let's go back to our git signs file and set a new key map, vim.keymap.set in normal mode, leader. And I wanna call it GP for preview, git preview. This is where we wanna call git signs preview hunk with a carriage return in empty options table. Okay, so now if we quit NeoVim and reopen it, if we go to that hunk again that we want to preview when we type space GP, there we go. We get our nice little previewed hunk. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Now on top of that, of course, you also get these lines. This line shows up to the left of your numbers and what it tells you using the colors green or yellow, if there is something new in your file versus what's existing currently in Git or something that's changed on that line. Yellow means that something's changed on the line. Green means that you've added something completely new to the file. That's really great just for kind of spot checking the differences in your file and just getting a feel for what's changed between your local copy of the file and what's in the Git repository. I think that's really helpful. And the other thing with Git signs that I find really interesting is the ability to toggle the current line blame. This feels like VS code in a way, but what it allows you to do is while you scroll through your file, if you stop on a line for a second, on the right hand side of that line, you'll see the Git blame for that line. So I'll tell you really quickly, like who changed the file on what date and what the commit message was. So now I don't find this quite as useful because the second plugin I think is a little bit better than this, but I think this is really fun. So let's put another key map for this functionality in our file. So we can do vim keymap.set leader gt for git signs toggle current line blame. Great. 
So now if we reopen NeoVim, if I type space GT, I have toggled the current line blame, and now I can see line blames for every line if I stop on that line. Pretty cool. But this isn't the only plugin I wanted to show you. There's another one, kind of an OG plugin that's really powerful and always has been powerful. It's amazing. That plugin is Vim Fugitive. Vim Fugitive was written by the man, the myth, the legend himself, Tim Pope, and it's an unbelievable Git wrapper for NeoVim. Essentially what it does is just wraps Git commands and allows you to view those commands in NeoVim, either in quick fix windows or NeoVim panes, things like that. It's pretty straightforward the way it works, but it's very powerful because you're not gonna have to leave NeoVim in order to use some of these Git commands. It's really cool, I'll show you. All we have to do is copy the short URL of this repository. And we can go back to our configuration file. And you know what? Now I want to rename this file because it's not just about Git signs. We're going to do Git integration stuff. So let's just rename it to something a little more straightforward like git stuff.lua. I like that. Now, since we're adding another plugin to this, we want to add another table. So let's make this previous configuration into its own Lua table. And let's make a new Lua table that contains just the short URL of the Tim Pope's Vim Fugitive repository. Let's write this file. First, let's format it a little bit. Write and quit. And then we can reopen NeoVim and we can see that Lazy is installing Vim Fugitive. Great. So now if we can go back to our files, we can check out Vim Fugitive a little bit and see what we got going on here. It basically uses the git command down in the bottom left of my screen here. And after this git command, you can run any command you can think of and it'll show it in Vim. Let's show you really quick. If I wanna find the changes to this file using git blame, I just type git space blame. And then it'll show up in a pane right next to this file, the whole entire blame history for this file. This is super powerful. I use this on a day-to-day -day basis if I wanna just make sure I know who made a change to a file. A lot of times I'm not sure what the context is, so many times throughout my day, I'll have to reach out to people asking them the reason behind certain changes. This helps me get there really quickly. Now I know I can just reach out to Christopher Power and say, why did you change the color scheme to Catpuchin Mocha instead of Catpuchin, for example. And of course you can use all these other git commands like git commit, that'll show you the commit status. You can type git add to add a file and that'll add all the changes um, in this repo now. And we can see that they're all staged. So now we can type git commit, oops, if I could spell correctly, git commit. And now this allows us to commit all the changes that we just staged. Pretty cool. And there's honestly a million other things you can do in Vim Fugitive. I suggest you look at the documentation. It's pretty thorough and it's uh, pretty well understood. It's been around forever. And now with just these two plugins, you have all of the Git functionality you could want within NeoVim and then some in my personal opinion. And if you liked how this Vim setup looked, check out our playlist for NeoVim for noobs, where we go over this setup line by line, file by file. It's really great and I think you'll like it. And hey, thanks nerds.